All right, people. Welcome back to part three. We're gonna wrap it up here, and we're getting into sneaker. We're getting, I mean, this is the sneakerhead collection. I'm sitting here with Zev One Z E V under slash one. You can find him on Instagram. What else? A little bit of Twitter, mostly only for sneakers. Yeah. Gotta be signed up for Twitter, Instagram, all that shit for all these sneakers now. Yeah. Twitter updates on release days, Saturday mornings, 8 a.m. Alarm <laughs> set every yeah. morning. If you're dedicated. <laughs> and this is this is the uh, the segment where we get into packaging. So Zev, I give you the floor, and you can show me. A lot of this stuff here, I have no idea what I'm about to see. So yeah, well, you're about to be just as shocked as me, or maybe you guys know something I don't. You know, I'm a Jordan head, so educate to, uh, sneakers, What do you got? Sneakers that are more than just sneakers. Sneakers that maybe you would have looked at, seen the sneaker, and said, eh, I don't know. Right. And then you saw the packaging it came in, and you said, yeah, I'm definitely need that in my life. Um, I'm definitely a first, comic book head, so I'm looking at those right there. Yeah, we'll get to them. But first ones I want to bring out, first ones that meant something like that I saw and I said, oh, yeah, those are pretty damn cool. Ice creams. These are Gucci Man snakes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you're second cones. in line for tat on the face, that don't mean these are the Gucci. These are Pretty actually cool. ice cream brand. Uh-huh. Uh, Pharrell. Pharrell's brand. I've had these. With Nigel of Bathing Ape. Uh, he basically put the brand out under him, under his production facilities, mm -hmm. under his label, um, and they went for sneakers. Mm -hmm. They went for sneakers first. The very mm -hmm. first design out the box, diamonds and money signs. Um, Anybody that was had a couple dollars in the early 2000s, I had, the, I, had the, I had the all white ones with the green dice. Those were second series. Yeah. Those were second series when you had the smaller These icons. These are 2,970 of 3,000. Yep, 3,000 pairs dropped, one yeah. of the last pairs. Um, just a, It's a crazy shoe. It's a simple, simple Reebok shoe. It was a collaboration with Reebok, Reebok at the time. Even though you would know because of premium leather they used. Yep, um, but it was the same same silhouette that they basically used for the S-Dots. Mm -hmm. um, you got your little, if you have all the accessories, you got yeah. your little keychain. Your ice cream man on it. And ice cream logo. man on the tips, the laces, which is awesome. They came with a shoehorn, aka ice cream scoop, still fresh in the package, mm -hmm. never been opened. Second pair of laces, you know, another little packaging, but oh. you know, just yeah, to yeah, let's have some ice cream, you know, mm -hmm. just all little details. The numbering, the 3M ice cream uh, tag right on the on the actual tongue. Down to the little jump man on uh, the little jump man, a little ice cream man nice on the bottom. Cream, man. And uh, when you flip them upside down, you put them together. You put together the pattern of the space the man, spaceman, which they used in Ice Cream and Billionaire Boys Club. Mm -hmm. You know, but they went through, had a number of different ones of these. These happen to be the first of the series. They matched up with the clothing. The logos were iconic. Yeah, the shoes themselves, eh. Quality, decent. Not yeah, bad. Quality's actually really good. Not bad. Yeah. Um, the packaging, amazing. The ice cream box, nutritional facts. Nutritional facts on them. Yeah. Uh, the pledge of purity, you know, of the ingredients. Yeah. Um, everything about it. These gluten-free sneaks. Yeah, with the actual top, the box top, ice cream scoops and little bit. What ice creams running? It's like a buck twenty back in the day, right? <laughs> They, if you could get them, I think they were somewhere around there. But most of these sold for two hundred plus okay. online afterwards. Yeah. Um, but again, I forgot my snatched up mine, but somebody I told me I oh, you snatched these up, and uh, I lost them in uh, the flood in Sandy. So it's uh, what it is, man. It happens, dude. I have a couple of the other series, but you know, uh, government these are the uh, series that matter. Governor Christie wasn't trying to give me a refund <laughs> yeah. on my ice cream. Yeah. If you I'm could kidding. find them, you'd be lucky. Yeah. Original OG Series 1. So, ice packaging. Cream. Packaging. Huge. Look at this. Probably would have never bought the sneakers. I mean, they're cool sneaker. I like them. I thought they were okay. A little too gaudy. But the packaging, mean I had to have them. Even if you're not going to keep them. <laughs> throw them the room. <laughs> or throw them all over the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still got the packaging. <laughs> That's key for me. That sold me on these sneakers. You know, the little details, they mean a lot. It's well, I like how you can, you can feel the, the riffs. The, just the ribbing. The ribbing in the box. The ribbing of it. I mean, it. it is made to represent an ice cream box as you know close as you possible. You rub your finger over a uh, a Lay's rigid chip minus the grease. That's kind of what it feels like. And uh, what's great is the ingredients: hot prints, nice leather, sick outsole, crazy details, conceptual logo, originality, and perfection. And their guarantee of quality. 
You will be envied by many, the trendsetter Absolutely. of your clique and a all fashion the, icon amongst your peers. All the way to the year 2014. <laughs> so, thank you, Pharrell, again, stepping it up, ice creams, packaging, nice. another great one. Uh, nice. All right, what else you got, man? You another one, it? packaging is key, artwork, oh, uh, man, artist man. named Pusset. He's Looks very like famous, it, very movie. famous Pusset. Um, He's known for drawing and coming up with the Metallica album covers. Oh, Metallica, Into the Snake Pit. A lot of the different things he drew, he drew those characters. Um, it's a great shoe, but more so it's just a great box. Um, unbelievable box. box. Sick. Bought it just for the box. The shoe itself, though, just is, is amazing. Oh, it's considered man. a bruised shoe because of the way that the colors bleed together and come bruised. together. Now these you've worn. Uh, these I wear a lot, actually. It's one of my favorite pairs. Um, but again, packaging is what's sold. The shoe itself is a great shoe, but the packaging now, just you find kills these? it. These ones, I believe I bought from a skate shop in Australia. Okay. Um, online. Online. Okay. You see his little logo, uh, the Pusshead logo. Mm -hmm. He actually, this is his first series. He did come out with a second series. Another one with pretty good packaging. Yeah. Um, instead of a cool box, he did a bag. The shoes go in the bag, uh -huh. in a box. Not as great as these. First series, just amazing. A um, little bit of clear patent leather overlaid on top of the pattern. Mm -hmm. Little right. extra tip, little things that set it off. Um, pebble leather, a little bit of difference than normal leather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little and, bit more high quality. And um, just great artwork, though. Beautiful, man. On the insoles. Yeah. Oh, the insoles are insane. Dude. On the insoles, you'll see a lot more artwork. Which in some of the higher end Nikes artist series collabs, you'll see a lot more of the art just continuing and, through and the shoes. And this tongue is extremely fat. This yep. is a skateboard sneaker. Yeah, right? dunks. Stuffed tongue for dunks. Extra cushion and support for skateboarding. Uh -huh. Also, which I've cut because they're more comfortable for me. It's like blasphemy among sneakerheads. Oh. The straps that hold the tongue down. No way. Made for, I can't do it. Made for make skateboarding. Sure, make sure your tongue go all over the place. I actually cut the straps just so that they would lay right with jeans. I know jeans. a lot of people used to do that with, with their Jordans. <laughs> I only did it for the jeans. I wanted them to lay right. I wanted the tongue to sit in the you front. Pop up like this, um, right? So most of my SBs have cut tongues. But you'll even see, even the paper has yeah. a bust that logo. Right here. No, it's just... Uh, right here. When Nike goes for it, they go for it. This was another one of their artist series, uh, third or fourth series, where the proceeds were donated to charity. But another great, great shoe with unbelievable Nike packaging. Nike loves the kids. Packaging, probably Puss better head. than the shoe. Puss head, Nike SB, Dunk Low. Favorite, one of my favorites for sure. Great, I think great a lot packaging. I would agree with you, yeah. Um, another, this is the one Lowe's has been waiting for, the Bathing Ape Marvel collaboration series. Yes. Done just like a character hang box, just to hang up. You got your character, aka Iron Man, Bapes in the front. You got your little artwork, facts on the back. Show them the Marvel logo on Proof the side of purchase. The that I'm looking at. Yeah, it's hard to see, Bring but right if you on. get Bring into right it, on. you'll see the Marvel logos on the back. That's pretty cool. Um, Dusty, because they've been put away, but the Marvel Comics right on the front of the box. I'm loving it. You got your Marvel Comics, you got your Iron Man colorway. Is that API, I see on the side? APE, Bathing Ape. Oh, okay, APE, okay. They basically ripped off the iconic Air Force they, One they silhouette. They never got in any trouble. Never got in any trouble. Kept the silhouette, mainly did patent leather materials, uh, crazy loud colors. They were making thousands of dollars a minute as they were open at their peak in New York, in L.A. With these Godfathers shoes. of the streetwear trend. Uh, streetwear wouldn't exist without Nigel um, and his Bathing Ape brand. Mm -hmm. But these were another shoe that released the same day as the Futurist. Um, ran over and got these from the Bathing Ape store. Actually ran into Ice Cube buying a pair of shoes for his son the same day. Mm. Um, Rain got to meet him. That was kind of cool. Um, but again, yeah, yeah. never never been out of the packaging. They did a number of other different um, characters as well. Iron Man was just my favorite at the time. Loved them. Had to have them. Yeah. The packaging alone. Yeah. Uh, I was there and a guy was buying every single pair and he said he'd never wear them. He was just going to hang them on the wall. He thought they yeah, were hard. Marvel Comics right there in the front. Marvel Comics right there on the front. Um, Iron Man. Different Iron Man facts throughout Way the show. Way before the Disney deal. 
This is it right here. This, this is, is the, like what year, man? 2005. 2005, wow. roughly. Pretty awesome, man. Yeah, this is it. Pretty great awesome. shoe, great packaging. Another re I mean, I'd never wear these shoes. They're too loud for me, a little too bright. Uh, patent leather. But the packaging alone means I had to buy them just to have them for that fact alone. The death of Tony Stark at the hands of the Mandarin. You'll see the price on them. We're 200 retail. The hands of the right out the gate. But well, well, that's awesome, dude. another that's classic awesome. packaging. Just you'll see the little, little Iron, Iron Man, Man head. Iron Man yeah. head on the back. Nice. You know, really high nice. quality. Yep. But uh, you know, as you know, never worn. Great package. Dead stop. Uh, Who would you charge for those? Can't even. I haven't even seen a pair go. Five million like, dollars. Yeah. First buy. First buyer. You can have them for that. Five million. You can have them for that. Robert uh, Downey Jr. You make a fifty million a movie, man. Buy these shoes and put them on when you walk. Five million. Please. Take care of some people. Take, take them from me. They're all yours. <laughs> we'll, we'll bring them to you. You don't even have to worry about shipping. We'll bring them to you. Five million cash. This is cash. Concepts. This is a store in. Cambridge, Massachusetts, right outside Boston. One of the best stores on the East Coast as far as streetwear. As Did far you as travel up here to grab these? No, I actually got these online from them. Um, but I have been to their store once before. <laughs> Amazing store. The snowman's drunk. They come, these are their ugly sweater dunks. I got it. Released these. this year. Uh, packaging is made like a Christmas cookie tin. My grandma's old Christmas tin. Now... What's great about it is, you know, happy holidays on the front, happy little house, holidays. snow, you don't notice much. You look closer at it, snowman you see smoke. a snowman passed out, beer bottles around him, Achoo. his pipe smoke is coming up saying happy holidays, and the house is on fire burning to the ground. <laughs> the so, you know, you got to love it. You know, Got to love the concept. Concepts, the concepts, little details, cookie tin box, great artwork on the, on the cover. And that's before you even open the box. You know, you get an ornament, little Nike Nike SB ornament mm. for your tree. Concepts on the other side, part of the packaging. But just a, you got your gold foil. Oh, man, the cheesy gold foil. You have your beer cozy with your cheesy snowman on it, your Nike SB on the other side, your extra laces. Nice. Um, then you got your ugly sweater shoes themselves, Ooh, as close to ugly sweater as you can terrible. get. Horrible. So ugly Remendous. that they're beautiful. With little snowmans on there. Can't ban the snowman. Oh, yeah. they got glitter in the bottom? <laughs> you got glitter. You got clear soles with a glitter through them. You got a uh, weed lace lock and a little snowman waist, waist, uh, lace lock. <laughs> These are hor horrible, man. And they are so ugly that they are amazing. <laughs> I break these out only on oh, Christmas. Christmas with the with the with the, with the snowflake insole. Yeah, snowflake that slash concepts. They made a white ver a gray version, uh, which is like a heather it's material. Badass, uh, badass shoe, badass shoe. It's a great great shoe. The minute I, I saw it. it, I said I had to have it. And so ugly, it. This it's was good. This season, right? This winter, 20, this, 20, 30, this Christmas. Christmas. I'm looking forward to the 2014. Rocked them on Christmas, of course. And that was the last um, time you wore them, huh? Yep, that was it. Put them away after that. Took some Christmas pictures at Christmas. Uh-huh. Did That's you have an ugly sweater to go with it? Nah, couldn't find one. They did make a sweatshirt, but uh, not sure my speed. Did. But the satin, um, I switched up, threw some green laces in. They only no. came with red and gold. I threw some green laces in. and uh, No, what I'm feeling here is, is a high-end leather, or is it more rugged? It's a little. It's not leather. It's definitely a different material. Mm -hmm. It's a canvas-type material, more of like a jersey t-shirt material. If you can actually get past the printed ugly patterns on it, the yeah. grays it's more prevalent, but it's Rough. just a you know an ugly shoe made to look ugly that the whole you know what I think complete the next time package out? came out beautiful. You know, just you everything. Break these off for Christmas in July. Yeah, that's always we got Christmas sneaks, Christmas Lebrons, Christmas every you know Christmas dunks. Yeah. You do the Christmas in July. It's the only time you get to rock them is yeah. Christmas and then. Yeah. But again, another great shoe. The shoe itself maybe would have sold me, maybe not. The packaging, you can't say no to. It's just amazing. You know, the detail, the attention to detail, the quality, all the little extras, sell the shoe. And again, it's another... That was four strong sneaks. And it's another, it's another example of Nike's marketing genius. Oh, they know yeah. how to do it. You know, they can sell sh you know, shit to anyone. Yeah. <laughs> they, you know, it's, a, it's an ugly sweater shoe. 
that sold out within seconds of being released. Oh, yeah. so you I gotta mean, have that if you're a collector. How can you? How can you say no to that? How many think? Do you, how many pairs do you think they made? It was limited. I know that the the gray was more available was, okay. because they actually released the gray at skate shops throughout the country. The black pair in the tin was only released at the concept store. The only way to get it was to go there or somebody you know to buy it for you there. Mm -hmm. you know, definitely demanded a higher price tag online, but in my opinion, it was worth it just for the shoe itself. Mm -hmm. Okay. I missed cool. the online drop, tried to get it. My size got it in the cart. See, couldn't get it. Extra. By, the time, uh, by the time I got the check out, it was gone, so I had to go on eBay. Ended up paying, I think, about 3 20 I think originally there were two for the package. So no, that's not bad. Yeah, you know, 120 over retail you sucks. But for certain shoes for the packaging, I'm willing to pay it. That's one of them. Yep, and that's, that's how one the game of them. goes. All um, right, what else you got, man? Packaging. This is oh, one of my man. most rarest and exclusive pairs. You see the wood grain. It was made for the 10th anniversary of artist Michael Lau. Uh, now hold that up for the camera. Pretty so. crazy artist. He comes out with some pretty good things. You got your wood box. They were only released at the L.A. party for him, uh, given out to friends and family and people there. Never actually made or sold in stores. The little doodle by him, his signature, came with a toy. These, unfortunately, don't have the toy because that was the only thing the guy wanted. He was a toy collector, not a sneaker collector. So you got these. You got your box. You got your oh my God. wood grain Janowski. I need to hold these. Wood grain Janowski, very limited. Um, I don't even know how many pairs. I think it's under 50 pairs made. You'll see on engraved uh, on the side. That was the date of the party. How clean is that, man? That was the date of the party. Now, what's on the inside here on this? Is the 10th again? The 10th, it's because it's the 10th anniversary of his character of his gardener character, which is a little toy that he makes that, you know, people go crazy for. It's a vinyl toy. It's another thing that goes hand in hand with sneaker collecting is vinyl toy collecting. Oh. But the Wood Grain Janowski's friends and family only given out at the event, never sold in stores. Uh -huh. Engraved for it. You'll see the 10th on the tongue. Yeah. You see the date on it. You see his little logo on the side here. Um, even on the tongue, if you get into it, you'll see a sample tongue, but you'll see on the inside, you'll see a sample tongue, which you'll only see on certain shoes that samples were made from. You'll see a, you know, you'll see the name. It, it'll ask you the name. It'll ask you who do we ship these to and who the product is and what size it is and what season it's from. You see all that stuff? Whose name is it? Let me see. Well, it's not filled out. Oh, it's a ship to. Okay, I yeah, got Yeah, ship to. Because these are sample these are sample tags, only made for sample shoes. Ship to on the inside because of this. They because they are made to ship to How many friends these and family. Under 50 pairs, I believe. Okay. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, extremely dope. rare. Real dope. Never seen a pair in size 13 <laughs> and never worn. Uh, actually got these by trading, trading sneakers. I had, these Did are you? another pair that... Now tell them you know what sneakers. you had to trade for these. Yeah, I'll go into that. These pair you'll never see. Sneakerheads only really know. Pair I traded for them was even a rarer, more iconic pair, just not my size. They were a pair of uh, what's called Orchard Street Dunks. There was a store uh, called Orchard Street, New York. Go, I don't want to let them go, but here you go. They were working on a pair of sneakers with Nike on a collaboration. The rumor is, the legend is, it fell through, didn't work. They decided to go buy 50 pairs of Nike Dunks customize them themselves, say fuck Nike, make their own boxes, uh -huh. and put them out. And they did just that. They took these Brazil dunks, they flipped the tongue, reversed them, um, put up wanted posters, we pasted them all around New York, hung them from lamp posts, hung them all around New York, they gave out a certain number of pairs to friends and family, um, and what they considered New York royalty, Jay-Z, Nas, a few other heavyweight New York rappers and people, iconic people at the time. Um, I searched for them for years, never saw a 13 ever. I bought a, a size 11, had them for a couple of years, loved them. Um, traded them to a guy who wore size 11, happened to have a pair of size 13 Janowskis. He actually had the even more rare pair, black and red, friends and family edition. And it's the only complete set of Orchard Street Dunks I've ever seen together. He has them now. One mm -hmm. of my pairs, one of his, traded for these. They're actually my size. I only like to collect my size, so I can wear them. 
they will be worn at some point in time. Just who knows when. Bring them out at the right point. Yep, who knows when. If I ever that, get that's going to be a huge conversation piece when people I, see that. If I ever get to meet the actual artist, Michael Lau, probably wear them to an event, an art opening, gallery, something like that. Shout out to Michael Lau. Otherwise, you probably won't see these again. They'll go in the tuck and they won't come out for a long, 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 long time. Yeah. But again, packaging. Packaging sells them. They're supposed to be a 12-inch toy. Uh, that's the shape of a spray can, graffiti can, mm. to go with it. Um, don't have the toy on the search for it. I'm messed up right now. So, that's an insane exclusive pair you will probably never see again. Fire. <laughs> but Fire. But something pretty rare. And again, packaging is what sells it. The Packaging's complete packaging. Uh, love those. Another pair of packaging sells. Nike SB Skate Park at Tampa. Cigar Dunks. Cigar Just Dunk there in Tampa. They only they release the shoe itself all over the country at different skate shops. But if you wanted this box, the cigar box, you had to get them from Skate Park in Tampa. Crazy, crazy box, crazy shoe. The shoe is made, the leather is made to crack and be pebbled to resemble the cigar. Um, to resemble an actual cigar. I can see it right there where it's supposed to crack right here. I keep them in with a couple Cubans to add smell to the good. smell. You know, I want the whole package when you open it's this. It's all about the smell, man. Look yeah. at that. I got, you know, my real Cubans in the box. They flake off, they break, they add to texture to the shoe. It sticks to it a little mm -hmm. bit, adds to the texture, adds to the overall remind aesthetic of, the, um, of it. Remind me of the uh, the Nike Dunks, the uh, Statue of Liberties that scratch. Oh, yeah. And then there's a whole other sneaker underneath. Yeah, the Statue of Liberty Dunks um, actually... Are a green color and underneath we'll is a rust color to too. oxidize. I have them too over in the corner, but these these are made to crack to resemble right here in this area guys. to resemble the actual cigar and the paper on and the you, cigar. If you look closely uh, with magnifying glasses on your laptops or phones, there's a little cracks in them. So how awesome is that? Man? Yeah, can't beat it. Can't but uh, the packaging, the packaging again. Packaging is insane. What sold the shoe? The shoe is a great shoe. It's a high quality shoe. But yeah, without the box, shoes. nah, never worn them. But without the box, it just it doesn't mean as much. Right, right, right. It doesn't mean as much. Not as important. Again, great shoe. Mm. I'll grab these real quick. You guys see it? Nike SB cigars. Doing it early. These okay. happen to be oh, the Liberties. Those were just telling you about. You'll see the Are statue of liberty in inside. Are this stuff come with it? Made these these way. Actually, scratched it off, filed it off to get that copper oxidation which lives under the green so the more you wear them they the will wear them. they will wear out and give you that color to resemble the actual Statue of Liberty wow. with the oxidation how awesome that is but it, these are man made just to add to the overall aesthetic just New rub York, it off New a York. little bit but another classic New York design really? not really packaging but cool extras that yeah. you don't expect you get a second color so you can't scuff them, you don't have to worry about it. It's no yep. longer the oh shit days. Damn, I'm scuffing my shit. But that's it. All right, but last but not least, people, we're going to wrap it up on this one. I want to thank everybody for, you know, tuning in. Once again, I'm here with Zev1, aka Zach, Z-E-V under slash one. Hit him on Instagram, follow him. Great photographer, amazing collector, and a great, great friend. And uh, I just want to tell him thank you. Thank him again uh, for opening up his house to me, opening up his collection. So, what do we have here? We're going to end with, again, packaging. One of the first shoes that sucked me in with the packaging, well, that was basically what it was. Graffiti artist named Ari mm. created his own sneaker based off the iconic, again, once again, iconic <laughs> Air Force One. We use that word a lot, yeah. but shit, uh, Air Force One is as iconic as they go. Um, wanted to do something that resembled his favorite thing in the world, Newports. New so, York's. He put his money together. I think he created a total of, you'll see, 252 pairs here on the bottom. One of the few very rare size 13s, but 252 pairs. Why 252? Because that's all he could afford to make. He didn't have money to make anymore. You know, he made these. They were sold um, exclusively on his website. They were not in stores. They were, yep. And yeah, people check, check in on onthegoari.com. See if it's even still up. there. Yeah. But I mean, these shoes are great. <laughs> I mean, it's got the foil. The box top opens like a damn pair of Newports. 
there's oh. foil in it. Oh I my mean, God! You pull the shoe out, and it says Newport as they come. From even the gold Cuban link tag holder. <laughs> I mean, this is a Yo. New York shoe. This is a New York shoe. This is a iconic, crazy, crazy shoe. A lot of extra packaging that comes with this stuff, but this is freaking awesome. I mean, the insole looks like the cigarette butt. Y'all see that? That's crazy, man. They took so, and flipped the Nike logo, the check upside down, to resemble more of a Newport logo. Yeah. Um, so hold on. Look at the little stripes. Now, tell me the le he got this. <laughs> he actually comes with a framed picture of him himself recreating a Newport ad, sort of. Where he's in a picnic scene, putting uh, hot sauce and ketchup on uh -huh. his uh, shoes. I love crazy, it. crazy shoe. <laughs> crazy, crazy packaging. This one always fucks people up, blows their minds when they come over. I mean, you just it, who's ever seen anything like that before? I mean, yeah, this is insane, dude. I mean, the the theme of the Newport is obviously carried throughout the shoe. It's Cuban link. Very stickers. obviously an Air Force Inside One. Inside is, is like the butt, the butt of a uh, the cigarette of a butt. Cigarette boat. Upside down. Uh, Nike logo to make like the Newport. Even has the stripes. There's um, no crease. You've never worn these. But what's great about it is they didn't just steal. I mean, the the silhouette of the shoe. He actually created his own underneath insole. Re10 with his logo on his Re10. Um, so you have that. What a lot of people think he did is flip this Nike check. Just took a check and flipped it upside down. It's actually no. not true. It's a shorter, wider check because it's a Newport. It's more of a Newport symbol than it is a check. Yeah, true. But it carries on that. You got the patent leather. You got his specific. This uh, is heavy. Tongue. It's got weight to yeah. it too. You got his Ari logo time. on the back. Even here where it says Air instead of Air, it's Ari. You know, it's the same letters just mixed around. Um, but again, another crazy shoe. Crazy packaging. Um, this is number 51 of 252. You'll never see them again. You've never seen them, and you'll never see them again. Yeah. I don't mean to sound arrogant. It's just You're I've never seen. seen them since then. <laughs> you know, I've seen this pair and have never seen another pair ever. Um, from the times that I took my stuff to sneaker battles and collections back in 2000, 02, 03. You destroyed them with these. These were always the ones that people said, what the hell are they? And wanted to know more of and, and always have wanted to buy. white laces in here, too. Yep, extra laces. Just mm -hmm. never been worn. Crazy pair of sneakers. Well, you gave you hella bang for your buck. <laughs> Did you have to go up to NY to get these? No, no. I got these, actually got these on eBay in probably 03, mm. 2002, 2003, very early on, right after they came out. I searched for them, sold out on the website, went and got them on eBay. This is, again, before sneakers were the whole, insane, the whole sneaker crazy. crazy. Right? Before, you know, you had Louis Vuitton, Kanye West, that oh, were $1,000 oh, $1, shoes. You got, you Tell know, me about these. Oh, <laughs> hold on, real, real quick. About the ones you got on your feet. Uh, you have... You know it's been a whole craze over Yeezys, Yeezy Foams, uh, 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 Yeezy 1s and 2s. Yeah, hold them up real quick. Let me, let me put down these jokes right here. This is the these smokish. Kanye West, Louis Vuitton collaboration. Uh -huh. This is the, you know, the red the red Jaspers were the ones, or the red Doncies were the ones everybody wanted. Louis Vuitton and Kanye West. But these the were the, uh, the patchwork Doncies. These were the top of the line of the three different models that they made. This mm -hmm. was the, uh, you know, they had the, the two different kinds of leathers. Um, it had the pink bottoms, the different colors. You know. Are they comfortable? Very, extremely comfortable. Uh, the tassels, people always love, the all the love, way hate the tassels. Uh, the, the leather on them is amazing. I've never owned a shoe that high quality. Is oh, yeah. it worth the money? Probably not. Is it insanely high quality, better than any other shoe I've ever owned? Yeah, but yes. when you want to shut something down. Yeah, these are what you wear, you know, when you just want to shut everyone up. And there's security. They present. bring, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they bring, people can bring out what they want. You wear these and people can't say much about you. <laughs> they okay, yeah, I lost. Yeah, their sneaker yeah, game I, just I, doesn't. I stood in line for my raffle ticket for my Jordans, but this right here is just, this is, this is big, big money heavy weight right here. Yeah, they were now, inspired by Dune, the movie Dune, uh, the high collars in some of the characters. That's where this back came from. That's where a lot of this ribbon came from. Um, if you're familiar with the movie, you'll definitely see the uh, definitely see the influences Look up throughout Doom. the shoe. Look up Doom. One of the 
things that are just the high quality about these are just so great. But one of the things that you you don't see on fakes, it's easy to spot fakes. The quality and the the actual breaks in the leather, the the pebble of the leather, the grain of it is very high quality. You don't see them on fakes, but you also don't see the patent leather that circles around the tongue. That's one of the few things um, that you can notice that you can spot the difference with the two. Mm -hmm. There's high quality fakes are out there. It's just tough. But also buying them from a Louis Vuitton store kind of kind of negates uh, anybody you telling you that they're fake. The States, you get I got these. I searched for two months for the red, the red Jaspers, or the red right. Donsies. Couldn't find them anywhere. Right. I went to London. I went to Paris. You know, no one could, no one could have them in my size. I got back Atlantic City. Saw my girl Jen in Louis Vuitton. She had these. She said, "I still have them if you want them." She went and pulled them out the back, and I gave up on my red search and bought these. Mm. And I have to say, I'm I'm very very happy with them. Um, I've only worn them obviously three or four times. Yeah. But uh, great, great pair of sneakers. The highest quality sneakers I own. Uh, love to actually feel them, look at them, hold them. You know, when you appreciate something, the aesthetics, the quality. You know, something you like to to Those look at. Hurt. Yeah, sneakers yeah. are art. Well, well, look, man. I hope you've all been educated, seen some things you never saw before. Uh, maybe knew some things and followed along. And, and felt uh, this man's passion and, and uh, drive behind collecting these shoes. And I just want to thank you again, brother. Of course. Thank you, man. Always. And All we'll day. do this again. we got to return to this. Because this isn't the end of the collection. That's this not even just the end of the collection. <laughs> so I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Please subscribe. Please follow this man right here. I'll put his information on the screen. Z-E-V under slash one. Follow this man. Like the pictures. See what he has on sale. Trade with the man. Talk to the man and maybe learn something. Size 13s. Come get them. Bring them on. Hey, I'm size 11. I'm going to have some things for sale too, but it's hard for me to let go. Well, like I said, man, thank you. Thank you so much for, the, for, for tuning in. I appreciate it.